Hello everybody. Alright, I'm doing the unboxing of Infinity's Combined Army starter box. Um, I had already shot this twice already. Uh, first time I didn't actually hit the record button, so I wasn't recording anything. Hooray. And then the second time I had it actually recording what I was listening to off my Windows Media Player, so I had to go and change that setting. So, these are called what is it, Morat. Uh, guys with the monkey type faces that are uh, an orangish red. Uh, I believe this guy is like a special uh, special guy compared to the other three. Then it comes with this heavier looking robot. Uh, and then this other robot. But another feature with your box is, and the little tabs here, there's a, a one wound, a uh, TO camo marker, a prone marker, and then another wound marker. So, you get some markers that are in color. I'll set the box off to the side for now. These bases are small round bases exactly the same small round bases as the GW's exactly the same so I'll take those out alright let's change the focus to give you a better look at these guys so here's one of the basic troops the very basic Morax are one piece so all you gotta do is glue them to the base I really like to look at these guys here's another one another thing I really like about this game uh, and, it, and its miniatures is that none of them are in the same exact static pose so you don't get three rows that look exactly like this in exactly the same way which can get pretty boring to paint and look at here's another one more in a uh, up and ready shooting pose now there's a good amount of excess flash here and there on these, which isn't a big deal. That's easy enough to clean. Um, mold lines are very few, and the mold lines that you do find are very small. Um, so the next three guys all come in pieces. Here's the, the big robot guy. Well, I guess he's probably just really in heavy armor. Kind of got a alien type head. Here's his gun hand, and as you can see right there, there's a mold line. That might be easy to spot, but it'll be easy to get rid of as well, so that's always nice. Here's this other hand. Slash arm. Another mold line right there. Like I said, they're super light, so not too big of a deal. Some little type of spiky bit, probably like a sensor array or some way to try to help keep it balanced. A couple more that stick out the back. Alright, so there's the same functionality other than to just make the model look cool. Alright, this is the thinner android looking guy. Set his bits down here. I'm trying to keep my right hands still so I don't have to keep refocusing every time. 
So here's his thinner body, more slender. Now, one of the nice features about this model, I think this is Flash. I don't think this. I think this is part of the sprue. I don't think this is has any functional bits to the model. I won't find out until I start cleaning and assembling. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Here's one of his little slender arms with a, a shoulder of some type. Here's his arm with the gun. But this model here, let's see if I can get it nice and close and then just zoom, focus should I say. He gets two different faces that you can Change the focus on this one. That's probably about as best as I'm gonna get. But yeah, it comes with two face options, which I really like. It's not every day you get uh, something with two face options. Whenever you get, oh, I got an email. Um, I, I like it when you get some optional uh, pieces to try to help make your guys look a little different. All right, I have to go back and refocus on the manager. So here's the Morat that is the one with holding the big blades, the one that looks like he's more of a specialty guy. Like I said, they kind of they kind of got a um, like a an ape-like type face. Right, they look pretty cool. I really like I really like the sculpt. And uh, he's got his blade that comes along the back, so behind him, and he's holding on to the hilt. At first, I thought the gun was supposed to go up here to the front. Uh, I have no idea where the, the actual gun is supposed to go. Oops. No, don't fall. a bit so I'm gonna just focus ever so slightly so here's his other arm this is the, the blade but sticking out forward and so oh, gotta be more careful And then here's the gun that comes with him as well. So I guess they kind of give you the option to put a gun in his hand if you really wanted. Or you just have to figure out somewhere to strap it. I guess this little nub. If I probably look on his body, I might find a place where this nub goes. And uh, that probably glues onto him somewhere. So, hope you guys like the look of the miniatures. I surely do. Uh, here's a picture of them. Kind of all set up in the field. Here's the guy I was talking about. As you can see the blade comes up behind here. There's the hilt. Then the other blade goes off to the side. Can't really see anywhere the gun is. This is the big heavy guy. There's one of the little tendrils and the other tendril 
can't see where the other one is. It's probably somewhere in his backpack. And then uh, here's the cybernetic eye, obviously, with one of the head options on. Uh, he's the one with the uh, little like, bandana type things off to the side. It's the one they chose for that model. And then the other two static rows. So hopefully I'll get these guys set up and, and done up sometime soon. I'm not too sure if I'm going to go with the studio art for these guys. I think I'm going to keep the face color. I really like uh, the look of that uh, face color. So it means I'm going to have to go off and probably buy some orange. Because all I have is for less than orange. Alright, I'm going to cut this video because all it is is an unboxing. Happy Wargaming everybody.